Hi, Tim Williams Chip here with Divorce661.com. You know, when I get questions from folks, uh, I never take for granted the fact that I've been doing this for several years and what seems to me as, you know, maybe obvious or uh, a no-brainer, something that we don't have to give any thought to. When someone asks me a question, I don't discount the fact that it's a good question because it's probably your first time going through this. This video is specifically about the MC-040. It's the, uh, the change of address form for the court. And the question was, when I fill out the MC-040, the request to, to you know, the change of address form, what goes in the caption information? What goes at the top? Is it my old address or my new address? And while the answer is it really doesn't matter, um, what my answer was to this person was, it should reflect your current address. What is the most current address? She was thinking, I can see the point. Do I not put it on my form until I've actually changed my address for the court? So you've already changed it. Go ahead and change it in the caption information in the top. And when you fill out the form, it's, so the address is going to be the same. In essence, you can put the new address at the top of your form and all future forms moving forward once on that change of address and all forms following that. Tim Blankship, Divorce661.com. Hope that made sense. Thanks for watching and listening on our podcast. Feel free to give me a call for a free divorce consultation, 661-281-0266. And thanks for watching.